All right, we're going to draw this seashell, and it's a very organic shape, so I think if you give the general idea of the seashell, you're pretty safe, but we're going to start with that top section, and then we're going to go to the width of the body, and I draw really light because there's going to be a lot of erasing and adjusting, so the top section is just like a soft, organic triangle, and then we've got this big swoop underneath of it that goes from the upper right down to the left, and it really jets out and has that thick part of the body that I just went over. And then we've got the opening of the seashell, and that is probably the biggest shape on the object. And then we've got just that little swoosh at the bottom where you've got some little tears that um, that curve around. So as, as long as you can tell that the width is really wide, that main body, and that these sections that I'm drawing next are going to be um, much, I should just say, less wide, right? So what a lot smaller because we want that um, big width of the shell to be very exaggerated. Then I'm just going to soften up those edges and make sure I am I have this angle that it goes from the top left and um, curves down to the, I'm sorry, top right curves down to the left. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to go through and ink it. You can just do this with pencil, but um, I like to add that inking. And I did more of a cross hatching. Um, quick ink shade study. So I'm looking at the values and then I'm going through just my lines. Basically, I think of it as if you were drawing, or I'm saying, sorry, coloring in a coloring book and you have those thick outlines. That's what I'm getting at now. And then I'm going to take uh, this 0.25 millimeter micron pen and I am going to add my values using cross hatching. And notice how I did erase my pencil marks so that they didn't um, get in the way. Plus, I don't like when I'm inking and having the pencil mark in the way. Okay, and really it's all about layering and how far apart your lines are and how close together they are. The more layering you do of the lines, of course it's going to create a darker value. And the wider apart they are, it's lighter. And really that's the, that's all for the, uh, the inking. Sometimes I like to give a little bit of a scribbly effect on the edges so that I don't have to worry about staying in the line so much where it is just a quick sketch study. I like that look. So it's up to you if you want to incorporate it. If you're tidy, tidy and mighty, sometimes that's good. If you're sloppy and loose like me, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, good luck.